whispered. What are you doing here? She remained unmoving. A thin breeze trickled past, though it didn't seem to touch her. Was she even really there? Was he still asleep and dreaming her? He moved closer, halfway to the beating stone. She stood on the other side of it as if sheltering in the shrubbery. Though the detail still eluded him, he could see now that there was something wrong with her face and neck, some kind of damage to her skin. Are you okay? You asked me to come down, so here I am. What do you want? Still no response. He was starting to get annoyed now. There was an arrogance in this silent treatment which reminded him of the man in the green skull mask. It was the same sense of entitlement, but in this case demonstrated as an unspoken scorn, as if by cap capitulating her to her and coming down here wasn't worth her attention anymore. Okay, fine, blank me, whatever, whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. She stepped closer to the stone, into a shifting blur of light, and he saw her properly. For the first time, the sores, the patches of black necrotic flesh, the open wounds that nobody could suffer and live, let alone stand. She stank of the grave. Toby fell back a step. Jesus, she smirked. It might as well have been a taunt. You were saying? We had just been introduced to Hester, a demonic, evil entity in the Plague Stones by James Brogdon. Who is Hester, you might ask? Hester is a 14-year-old girl who suffered the consequences and the heartbreak of the vast bubonic plague in the 14th century. She was wronged and her whole townspeople wronged by a village who would not give them hospitality, who would not give them holy water to help their community to drink to try and fight this evil disease. And for hundreds of years she has sought to wreak out the most terrifying and haunting revenge on the people who are trustees of the village that denied them any compassion. The family that have just moved into Stone Cottage are the Femans. They have escaped their run-down, uh, very their poor life in a council flat and have inherited a cottage from a distant relation and unfortunately have had the responsibility thrust upon them of being keepers of the stones, the seven plague stones around this village to keep the living in and the dead out. This book was an absolute page turner and the author, James, effectively jumps between the present day and back to the 1300s. You are given a really rich insight into Hester as an emotional, home, like um, spirited, compassionate young girl and thrown by her development into this creature that is eaten inside quite literally with black hatred and a bloodlust. I am terrified of horror movies and I thought if I could just about manage to read a horror book I would be very proud of myself <laughs> but I could feel the evil in this book burning in my book bag and just a presence hanging over me. I couldn't wait to finish it because it is written in such a gripping and uh, rich way with the descriptions but equally I just wanted to close it because it left me on edge and 
literally made me very jumpy at work in the library and gave me goosebumps, made the hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. I feel quite pleased to have been brave enough to read a horror story and uh, I was inspired by our fantastic Kingston Adult Digital Book Club and the theme for November 2020 was to read a book from a horror, fantasy or sci-fi category and to choose one uh, genre of books that we wouldn't normally read. I would encourage you to be brave definitely read more of James Brogdon's work. He's actually an English teacher and he describes himself as a half Australian because he spends his time between uh, Tasmania in Australia and uh, Worcestershire with his family in England. He's phenomenal and has written very comical acknowledgements at the end of the story which brings about a, a much needed breath of fresh air uh, and you, you try and your senses try and forget the smell of death and rotting flesh and the fear. Read this book today. I am going to eagerly see if any more of James's books are available as ebooks, but I know this book is available as a physical copy in our library branches and I really hope that you enjoy it if you dare. Thank you so much for watching the Kingston Library Services Facebook page and YouTube channel this book but remember 